I wake up sometimes three o'clock in the morning and I'm, I'm thinking, of, oh God, I said I was, before I opened my eyes, I just had this nightmare and this repeating nightmare. Then I opened my eyes, holy no, it is a nightmare. I am living this. This is what home looks like for Dunstan Campbell. I'll turn the light on so it get a little brighter in here. I'm living this, and it just breaks me up. How anybody could do that to an older man. But it wasn't always this way. Campbell helped build this home in 1981 and raised his kids here. He moved away in 1992 for work in Kelowna and rented his home out to non-Musqueam people. But in 2010, new tenants moved in, and two years ago, he found his home severely damaged. Now I come back to this, it's dilapidated. I couldn't believe how, how this could happen. Seven months ago, when the off-reserve home he lived in was sold, he reached out to the band for help. But instead, he was forced to live in his old home, he thought was by then condemned, with his tenant as a roommate. And I said, there's two trailers down here from the COVID, they call them the COVID trailer. Why don't you put me up, why don't you put me up in there for, to figure what, what to do? And he laughed in my face. In an email to the CBC, Indigenous Services Canada said, the band is responsible for the management of housing on reserve. It added that it provided $1.4 million in funding for housing projects to Musqueam over the past four years. However, the Assembly of First Nations says federal funding for on-reserve housing in Canada is woefully inadequate. 25% of those living on reserve live in overcrowded conditions. Musqueam Band Chief Wayne Sparrow wouldn't talk to the CBC on record despite three phone calls and text messages. Campbell told the CBC both a private contractor and environmental health officers inspected the home and said it was not condemned. In a text, Sparrow told the CBC that the matter is resolved and the band is in consultation with Campbell. Just yesterday, Campbell said a band social worker provided two options of a safer home off reserve and asked for his preference. But there's still no timeline on that potential move. I've never seen someone live in this condition ever in my life in Musqueam. Gail Sparrow was the chief of Musqueam in the 1990s, who happens to be the sister of the current chief, Wayne Sparrow. With our state we're in right now, um, we could build in an emergency with our financial resources we have. I don't know why they aren't looking at that. That would be the answer, because we, we do have the resources in place. The Musqueam band has not responded to a list of questions the CBC put to it. Angela Sterrett, CBC News. Musqueam.